How's it going guys? Hope you're all doing well. Today we're looking at the Viper Spectra XS1500, which I have in front of me here. This is a 150 watt lamp that's meant to flower a two foot by two foot space. And you might be thinking 150 watts is a lot of power for a two by two. And you're right, it's 37 and a half watts per square foot, which is definitely more than most lights. In two by twos, usually you'll see lights in the 100 watt range, like your HLG100 or your Atrium Hyder 1000 or Spider Farmer SF1000, which I actually have right beside me here. If you go to the product page for the XS1500, they like to compare this light against this light right here. So what I'm gonna do is run a whole bunch of PPFD testing on both of these lights at a bunch of different heights and see if the extra diode count and the extra power that you get in the 1500 is worth it in a two x two. The XS1500 brings a lot to a two x two. It's built with 340 Samsung LM301B diodes in 3000K and 5000K color temperature and supplemented by 18 660 nanometer red chips and two 730 nanometer infrared chips. You can get an idea of the diode density on this light when you see it next to this HLG100 and Vivosun VS1000. The driver is an HLG 150H 54AB unit, which is Meanwell's flagship LED driver line. The light is dimmable from 100% power down to 5% power, but it won't quite dim all the way off. It's got a heat sink with actual fins on it to increase surface area and dissipate more heat, and the entire surface of the light is coated with a waterproof treatment. All that's required for assembly is to connect the power cord and attach the clips and ratcheting rope hangers. After my standard warm-up period of 30 minutes before each PPFD test, the light was drawing 152 watts and the fins on the heatsink measured around 47 or 48 degrees Celsius. I tested this light in my 2x2 automated PPFD test chamber at hang heights of 6 inches all the way up to 36 inches in 2 inch increments. All testing was done at full power and had a 30 minute cool down and 30 minute warm up prior to each test. I've posted all the data to my new website that I'm using to store all my results which is ppfdcharts.com. Check it out if you want a closer look. As I mentioned, I also tested a Spider Farmer SF1000 alongside this light to see how big of a difference the extra wattage and diode count on the XS1500 would make. As expected, it's pretty significant. The SF1000 I tested drew only 93 watts from the wall, while the XS1500 was pulling just over 150, resulting in a difference of about 60 watts. If I take the average of every single measurement I took from 6 inches all the way up to 36 inches, the XS1500 comes in at an impressive 710, while the Spider Farmer averaged 443. Of course, nobody's going to be running these at a 36 inch hang height, but I think testing all lights in the same range under the same circumstances is a good way to compare them objectively and should cover just about any scenario growers might be curious about. If I take these global averages and multiply them by the grow space size in square meters, which for a 2x2 would be 0.37, and then divide by the price of the light, I'm getting what I call bang for buck, which is essentially how many usable photons per second you're getting per US dollar. Right now, the Viper Spectra comes in at 1.64 and the SF1000 at 1.51. If we dig a bit deeper and have a peek at the PPFD charts for each light, it's easy to see that the XS1500 is in an entirely different class. It looks to me like around 14 inches would be the height that you'd want to hang this thing to maximize PPFD and have it somewhat balanced across the space. I'm going to quickly run through all the heights now for both lights, and again, if you want to have a closer look, just head over to ppfdcharts.com.
Well, there's the difference 60 watts makes in a 2x2. This isn't really even a fair comparison, and I think that running the SF1000 against the XS1000 rather than the XS1500 would make more sense, but this should give you an idea of what you're getting by bumping up to 150 watts in a 2x2. 100 watt lights will definitely do the job in a 2x2, and I've gotten and seen great results, but for those who are looking to really push their grow to the brink of diminishing returns before you start doing things like supplementing with CO2, the extra 50 bucks or so is definitely worth the cost in my opinion. If this thing was double the cost or something like that, I doubt I would bother with it, but it's still under 200 bucks, and you're getting the best model of Meanwhile Driver and a whole whack of LM301Bs for your money. Viper Spectra has definitely come a long way since the Blurple days, and in my opinion, the XS1500 is a strong contender for the best light in a 2x2 for the money. Thanks to Viper Spectra for sending this light to test. If you're interested in trying one out in your grow, you can use the code LEDGARDENER on Amazon Canada or Amazon US for 5% off. These are affiliate links, and I get a commission when you use them, so it'll save you money and help this channel out at the same time. Thanks for watching everybody and stay tuned for more LED grow light and garden automation content. And if you like what you're seeing, please consider subscribing to help me continue to grow the channel. See ya.